Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the part 2 of conditional looping present in Python. In the first part, in the previous video, we have seen loop or at least we have seen this uh, flow diagram to illustrate how this loop work. We have also talked about uh, what is for loop and how you can write in Python, uh, write for loop in Python. And also we have seen how you can write all your for loop codes in one line, which we call as one liner. And it's a very easy and uh, handy way of writing code in Python, especially for for loop. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss about other loops such as while loop. Okay, to give you the intuition, why do we need while loop? We need to go back to the previous video uh, of for loop and let's recap uh, that thing first. Then we will come back to the while loop, how you can use it and uh, when you're going to use it, I will give you the, give you the example. So this is the example of for loop which we have seen in the previous video and here we are saying uh, there is a variable x and this variable has a list assigned to it and this list has seven element and when I say for uh, which is a keyword for the for then I say i within in, in x variable and print i and if you have seen my previous video you know uh, it will return all the elements that present in x. So in the beginning of the code, I know how many iteration it's going to take before it moves to the next one, okay, or next, next piece of code. If it is not clear, let me give you another example. For this, let me comment this one out uh, by pressing Alt-3 and I can copy it here and instead of X, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say range which is another inbuilt function which take two arguments. So which is, let me write it down first, zero and three. So what I'm saying that it, please give me a range which starts from zeroth index and which will end with, with the last minus one. So this will return zero, one and two. So let me print it this one. Uh, let me save it and run it. When I run it, you know, zero, one, two. If you don't provide the first argument and just provide the three, by default, this inbuilt function will take zero as a first argument and it will return the same thing what we have seen in the previous one. Okay, so here we know this is uh, this inbuilt function takes uh, has three elements, zero, one, and two, because we are defining zero to three, so three elements. and in the beginning of the code, when I'm writing this one, I know this will take three step or three iteration it's going to take. But what if sometimes I don't know in, in the beginning of the code how many iteration I need to take or I should take. So in that case, I have two options. Either I can define a very high number, let's say 3000 or 3, uh, 300k. And in that case, it will might solve your purpose, but you know, this much of space you are wasting it like sometimes it may converge before that also you don't know it know that thing yet so for to to avoid such kind of things we we generally use while loop so let's go and see the syntax for while loop so this is the syntax for while loop when you say while which is the keyword for the while and some condition which is by default true so it is by default true then true sorry then you pass this colon and you you always keep the indentation and here you pass your uh, the body of while loop okay now as this condition this expression is by default true we need to do something in the body of the while loop code itself so that it will become false after some iteration so false after let's say x iteration Okay, or else if you don't do this thing, this while loop will run forever because this condition is true. Okay, as you have seen some, some of the conditional uh, loops such as while loop is pretty difficult to deal with. We need control statement to ensure everything runs smoothly without any problem. And it's not like that you, do, you only use control statements for uh, while loop. It uses, we use uh, this control statement for other loops such as for loop but because so while loop is pretty difficult and you know if you don't take care of this 
uh, condition to make it false after some iteration in the body of while loop, you will just run into infinite problem, infinite looping problem. And to avoid such circumstances, we generally use control statement in while loop more often as compared to any other loop such as for loop. I will give you the example in for loop as well, but I will mostly give you the example for, 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 for while loop. And let's see all this control statement one by one. Uh, in the break statement, uh, it will when Python reach to this particular keyword break, it will break the loop and move to the next piece of code. So let's say we are defining a while loop, while some expression and semicolon, and we keep the indentation. And when we pass break, when Python reach to this label, it will just break the while loop and move to the next piece of code, which is the same indentation as while. In continuous statement, when you say while, uh, sticking to the last example and some condition and you say continue, when Python reach to this label, it will just ignore all the lines after this continue, which is at same indentation and move to the next iteration. Okay. Pass is a bit similar to continue. The only subtle difference is that sticking to the same example, you say while some expression which is by default true then colon and you say pass and it will just ignore this line and move to the next line okay let's go to the python shell and see some of the example for while also we are going to see how you can use while loop along with this control statement so here i am using the same value for x and i have defined another variable i and assigned a value zero to it and here what I can do, say, let's say while, which is the keyword for while and say i less than equal to len x minus 1 and here I can say print i, okay? Or I can say print x and within the square bracket I will pass i. So here I will say i, whatever the value I will get, I will grab from here, I'm pass using that one as an index for the variable x. Okay, so here I'm saying until i is less than equal to len x here, which is seven, uh, six, uh, one, 7 minus 1, which is 6. When i is less than equal to 6, print each of the item of the x. Okay, now if I'm, I will not do anything in the body of the while loop. Here i is 0 and always this expression is true because i 0 is always less than equal to 6. So it will just run forever. Let me show you and run it. So when I say run it, you can see it will just keep on going. It, it, you are running like uh, infinite time. In case if you run into such problem, just press control plus C. So in that case, uh, in that way, you can interrupt the, uh, that's called keyboard interruption, and you interrupt the loop, whatever it is, interrupt the any code of Python. So moving to the example here, we need to do something about it. So here I can say i plus equal to one. So here I'm saying I'm increasing the value of i by one at every iteration. So after six iteration, it, the value of i would become six, uh, seven, and uh, and this expression going to be false. Uh, and so then the while loop will exit. Let me run it and we'll show you. So you know, so after the uh, seventh iteration, the the value of i will is become it became um, seven and this expression is false. So it's just exit the while loop. Okay, let's see the example for break. So here I can say break. Let me comment this one out and let, let me first copy this one and then comment it. And here I will say the same thing. But here what I'm going to do if I will say if x i index with whatever the value it is if it is uh, equal to 10 then break okay and 
remaining things uh, I'm just keeping the everything as it is now when I run this one you can see after the second uh, iteration it it exit so you know the value of the first one is one and two and the third and when it I become two the X of two index the value is twin so whenever it reached to 10 this line executed and it's saying break so that's why the whole loop was uh, actually broke and then the Python moved to the next line here it, we haven't kept anything so that's why it's just break if I say just print uh, you know break and if I just run it you can see after second I'll think it just moved to the next piece of code which is a same indentation as while okay let's see example for continue statement continue let me copy this one out and here oh I should copy this thing and comment this one as well and here I can paste it and instead of X I can what I can do uh, I will say I is equal to 3 when I will become 3 when the index of here we are grabbing the index right so when index is equal to 3 I make the index 7 I 7 then here I can say continue and I can here I will just increase the value of I with 1 then I can say print continue So what here I'm doing, so in the first uh, couple of iterations, the first one and second one, when i is less than or equal to 3, it will uh, print, sorry, I need to give a print here or else we cannot see anything, print x i and, uh, and when i is uh, 1 0 1 and 2 it will print the value of X in that item so it will print 1 2 and 10 but when I become 3 which is this one this time when it should print 2 I will become 7 and become continue uh, then I, I'm saying continue so it will just break this uh, it will just move to the next iteration and when it goes to next iteration I already become 7 so this thing become false and the whole loop will break uh, so if I will just run here you can see 1 2 10 and continue let's see a uh, example for um, pass so for this one let me copy this thing it would be more closer and come in this one out and for here I can say pass and uncomment this one okay so if I will say pass now what will happen for the for when X uh, when X of I extends so in this case when it is this one it will move to the next one so let me run it and say uh, pass here okay if I will just run it you can say 1 2 10 2 3 4 and 5 so if I will go back say 1 2 10 1 2 10 2 3 4 5 everything happens so it just ignore everything printed just it ignored this particular line so pass it just ignore this one and move to the next one next line try and accept block is not a conditional loop but it goes very well with the while loop so here you can say while while and true so this expression is true that means this while loop will run forever so infinite looping and within this thing the in the body of the while loop you can pass this try and accept block so in this try and accept block you say try this keyword followed by a colon then you write the code that you what you want to do in normal situation in case this doesn't work don't throw me and throw or show me an error go to to exit block and do this thing instead okay I will give you the example then it would be more clear to you
So sticking to the same value of x and i, here I can say while true. So this will run forever. True. And here I can say try. And here I will say print uh, print x with index i, which I passed within the square bracket. And here I say except and here say break okay and and here I need to increase the value of i with uh, 1 at each iteration so now if I just uh, run it you can see it uh, did the seventh iteration uh, and after when it when i becomes 7 and in the eighth iteration this thing doesn't work because x of x of i which value has 8 is null it doesn't have any value because the x length of x is only 7 so in that case it didn't happen so python will throw an error so instead of doing this thing it just moved to the except block and here it's saying break let me show you if i just don't give a uh, the try and block, except block and do the same thing as previous, what will happen? Print x in the square bracket, I will pass i and here I can say i uh, plus uh, equal to 1. Oops. Okay, now let me comment this one out and uh, show you. Uh, uh, save it and run it you can see after the seventh iteration it's throwing me an error but in try and accept block I'm instead of throwing uh, I'm asking Python not to throw me an error but do this thing instead which is break and then it moves to the next piece of code which is like this one that's all for conditional looping if you have any question till now, please feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will try to answer them with the best of my ability or else. Thanks for watching. Please do like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do that. Until next time. Cheers.